sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> Welcome to the video. As you guys see from the title, this video is a day in the life of a Navy corpsman. So I am HM3 Owens. I'm stationed on Pearl Harbor, um, Hawaii, with the USS Port Royal. So I'm attached to a ship, I'm on a ship, and I'm a corpsman or a baby dock for a ship. See, this is my normal morning routine. Wake up at about 3.30, 3 3.45-ish. I get to the gym, go ahead and knock out my gym session for the day. Uh, I do compete in PC, so um, fitness, working out is very important. Plus, you being a corpsman, it's kind of you know your duty to to stand out, to, to be a, a role model to those that you work for, um, that also take care of. So I'm just gonna take you guys throughout my day at work, some of the things that I deal with at work, some of the things that we do at work. It's not everything. We're currently in dry dock right now, so a lot of maintenance is getting done to our ship. And a lot of our daily operations that we would do if we were going underway, things like that, um, are not exactly what we're doing. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure that you give this video a like. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you're subscribed to Erica's channel. And, yeah, enjoy the video, guys. As a corpsman, uh, one of the things that we do is have biomed checks on certain equipment. So you have to have the NEC to be able to do the actual check. <clears throat> so for that, we either schedule it by going to biomed themselves, or if you're lucky, then you can actually just go by one of the ships that's larger on the waterfront and pick up a biomed tech, which is what I'm about to do now. I'm going to pick them up from the USS Portland, and then we are going to do the check on the ship and do some of the checks that are actually in the office on the barge so biomed checks what those are basically certain equipment that we have vitals so for us um, bottle machine some suctions that we have to get especially checked from them a little bit different we have a dental band so that's when they come to the pier we have the dental office come to the pier on their truck and they actually see the people so now we don't have to worry about if people went to their appointments or scheduling appointments and they get dental exams done but uh yeah so those guys outside of the fence you can see now the issue Get all these people out here to them. It's just kind of inconvenient when well, they're all the way outside the gate. Hey, in your own dental list? Huh? In your own dental van for today? Nah, yeah, I think so. But they're, the reason why I'm saying is because they're located outside the fence. Alright, so I'm about to have my lunch. Just focus on you and What's going on guys? I actually, this is the second time recording this. Um, I was editing the footage before um, and yeah, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the audio, didn't like how it looked. Just It was just bad 
clips. So I'm gonna go over basically exactly in this clip what we do as a corpsman. First thing in the morning, we always have cleaning stations. So depending on what time that is, we always have cleaning stations. Um, after cleaning stations, that usually opens up sick call. So people come in uh, either that need to follow up with us that we've seen previous or new, um, new patients. Usually during and after sick call, we test waters. We also have uh, maintenance that, that is due throughout the week. Um, we also have meetings. We give training, CPR training, um, a basic wound training. So um, it's pretty. Most of most of the morning time is usually packed. So as soon as cleaning station starts, it's usually everything's pretty structured out for us, um, all the way up until lunchtime. The good thing about lunchtime is I like to take lunch uh, early. I like to have lunch about 10:30 before everyone else starts lunch. And then when everyone else starts lunch, that's whenever you can get your admin stuff done or whenever we can um, like take a quick nap, like an hour nap or a 30 minute nap. Um, and yeah, after that, we usually have check-ins. So that check-ins also can go into the morning time. So we have check-ins. Um, when you check people in, get the record, we have a, a check-in package that we have to do. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what we do uh, life as a corpsman and we also have like gun ranges from time to time OC spray that we have to monitor from time to time whenever we are underway we have a lot of evolutions that we have to uh, be safety observers for um, there's a lot of times where you're just kind of standing there but you're standing there waiting for something to happen uh, also throughout the day we are ready to respond when it comes to an emergency as well so any type of emergency situations Definitely with our guys, and then now that we're in the dry dock area, um, it's also been with some of the contractors have been getting hurt or injured, and we have to um, respond to that before the other paramedics come. So, something very important that I have learned, set you guys up here. Something very important that I have learned being on the ship compared to when I was in Cuba, um, working in the hospital, working in the clinic. Uh, People rely on you heavenly whenever you are a corpsman or whenever you're on the ship, you are it. doesn't matter if you are a HM or if you're a chief, you are it. So um, that is something that I've learned very quickly. Um, no matter what the situation is, and it does become stressful. And that's pretty much part of your job because also with the stress that other people put up with, um, or come to you with you also have to help them out with that so let me show you guys exactly what we have over here so this right here obviously this is not what we have on board the ship but this is like where we keep our medications and things like that at. so we just have different medications that we have there um, and then we also have our normal kind of day-to-day -day medications out so we have those as well um we are able to do minor procedures so there are times where we have to do minor procedures minor procedures could be toenail removals um mole removals just kind of anything that's considered like a minor procedure uh, and then this right here so these bins these bins are actually how medications come to us so whenever we order medications, it can take 24 hours, a couple days, a couple months. Depends on the supplies that we order. But they come in these bins, and then we just take them out. And they come in like regular bottles. So we have a lot of them here. Just because we can't put them on the ship, because if they're on the ship, then the medication will expire because of the temperatures. So in the hospital, you can kind of delegate, and you have different departments. And this is medical. So this is your hospital in one office. Um, especially when you're underway and only thing you do have is this. Granted, whenever we're in port, we're able to send people to the ancillary services that we have, the hospital or the clinic, and get help. When we're underway though, this is, this is it. We just have each other, myself, HM2, and Chief. Um, so, life for a corpsman is different whenever you're in a hospital, a clinic, um, out in the field, or on the ship. So right now, like I said, that we're on the ship and it's it's it is a lot different than it was in the hospital for me but ship always comes first um so like they always say navy comes first 
and then your 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 job or your rate so we do stand watches and we do stand medical watch so we stand the barge watch messenger watch and we do stand uh, medical watch as, as as well so hope you guys enjoy the video like I said this was the second time I recorded this hope this one came out better which I will see whenever we uh, when we do the edit and hope this was information for you and also hope that it was a little bit of entertainment for you um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you guys want anything to if you guys want to know anything that I missed or if you'd like for me to cover a certain topic uh, yeah just let, let let me know by leaving a comment and I'll catch you guys in the next video I'm doing this little thing again where I'm commenting or uh, shouting out people that comments. So D Guzman Nico asks if I'm Filipino. Yes, I am Filipino. Um, someone else asks, is it weird that I miss basic training? It is not weird that you miss basic training. I hear that all the time. It's because you've been doing something for two months and you know that's the only thing you have to worry about. No drama, no nothing at home. That whenever you do, you're done with basic training, you go to AIT, you have your phone, you have to deal with everything that's going on in the outside world, and it's just now you have to worry about everything plus all your training. So it's not weird. Um, it's just that was your whole norm for a little while. And then now you're back into 